Bitch, tell me who got a flow like God. We are Bizak hey. as usual, and we are cutting up. Y'all ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah, born ready. ready. We ready. <laughs> I, 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 I born ready. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, you already know how we do it. Coming yeah. in, cutting up right out the gate. You know yeah. what I mean? We only got, you know, until we get we get a show that's four hours long, you know what I mean? We got to jump right in the shit. Let's so go. we are cutting up right out Let's the go. gate, you know okay, what I mean? Ready. And we are happy to be here with you all again. And I hope yes. you guys are happy and you're making it through this COVID situation Woo. and the shutdowns and all the other craziness that and we, we, hope you're, we hope you're at peace and you have much abundance and many blessings coming Thanks. your way. Indeed. Uh, so, you know, let me go through. You already... <laughs> You already know this all-star team, you know what I mean? It's the hey. dream team live in the flesh, yeah. you know what I mean? And so I'm going to do something a little different, though. I'm going to go around the other way this oh, time, you know what I mean? Oh, I just want to shout out the homie. You know, I want to go first on the homie, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Pause. The best for life. But, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do that. Yeah. 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 You got to watch what you say oh, around oh, these oh, motherfuckers. Yeah, I swear. Like guys, yeah, you, do. you know what I mean? But, you know, today, you know, my, 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 my tropical pop of festive... Trump. Tropica. You know, yo, yo. my festive brother. You yeah. know, he got the tropical. He got the TP got the shirt, shirt on. And he got the so rock you know back. I mean? The rock is back. Shirt. Yeah, he got That's the rock on. Long. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the rock in your area. The rock area. is back. The rock, <laughs> the rock, rock in the back. building. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know it's real. ROC. We don't stop. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, you know, I got we got our brother, our good Reverend Wavy Jones, aka Tropical Papa. How you doing, bud? Peace and love to everybody out there. I hope your, your days are well. I hope your weeks are well. And I hope your years are well. Wait a minute, what the oh, hell? Oh, man, hell yeah. Let let me how do that. come in all hyped? Okay. And then you like, you like, let me do that. Yeah, how you doing? You called you know, me Reverend. I was so just about to say, you called me Reverend. He was ready. Yo, that ass, he came in smooth as shit. He gave the anointing to the soul. I felt the anointing. Yeah, My man, my man. I felt calm. Always glad to see you, brother. Always glad to see you. You think I could do that? Like like a radio? Like, you know how my man Keith Sweat be doing? What? You could do that. I could do that. Like, you could do that. Yeah, you oh, yeah, you pulled out his fine enough for talent. Look at yeah, Dom. Look at Dom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're just yeah, going to put that. you on at 12 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, and, and, and secondly, man, you know, it's a special guy right here. You yeah. know, our resident Beardo. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. finally, he got that beard luscious and grown. I hear a grown man now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear, got, he a grown man now. Yeah, you know, know what I'm right? saying? His, his mustache 13, but that beard is grown. I feel grown as hell. I mean, ain't gonna lie. Got the good brother Robert Covington <laughs> in the What's building. Up? What's goody? What's up, y'all? How we doing, man? I hope everybody's taking over the world and is doing good, man. Yeah, you doing good though, yeah, man? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Doing, doing good. Doing great, man. You look healthy. Busy. You look yeah, strong. I feel good, man. Been working out. <laughs> you strong, my mind, right? Strong. Very right. Very right. Yeah, ladies, ladies. You know, if you if you listening and on, uh, by via podcast or some other way uh you know we sit here we got two chocolate brothers up in here yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. i mean yes, it's, a, it's a nestle section over there you Pause, know what i mean yes, yes. we got nestle snipes glowing. in the building you know what i mean since wesley snipes every dark skin brother's gonna get compared to wesley snipes <laughs> Uh, yeah, we got we got Coco Pop over there. And, <laughs> you know, Nestle Snipes on the other side. Yeah, you know what I mean? Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Where do we get this shit? <laughs> Off top of the dome, baby. I'm not a great freestyle rapper, but I'm a, I'm a great freestyle comedian. You know what I'm saying? Nestle Snipes. Nestle Snipes. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what he got. Yeah, yeah, I just made that up. Yeah, it's off the top of the dome. I like it. Yeah, but you know, at last, but certainly, certainly, <laughs> far from the least. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I saw the glisten in his eyes. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I ain't gonna mess with her today. You know what I mean? Don't do but it, Rob. Last but certainly not least, we gotta pay homage to you know the the regal, <laughs> the lovely. Hey. The Thank sexy, you. the mocha brown, okay. tiptoe, uh, furry, yeah. nasty. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, well, you know, the ball, you know what I'm But no, you know, we, we have the we have the very intelligent, the very lovely, the very beautiful, uh, our resident Rhodesian red back. <laughs> Come on, you knew it was coming. S. You knew it was coming, Lady y'all. S. Dot Lee in the building. Oh man, how y'all doing? Let's go. No, we're not doing it. Dots in the building. You gonna have random people barking at you on the street. No, I'm not. <laughs> and they're gonna get randomly punched in his damn mouth. Yeah. <laughs> they gonna like, roll like, they're gonna make shirts and shit. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it's, be- all, it's all fun and games now. Uh, like, like, I'm like, people from the kennels, like, you want it all? After, <laughs> I, look, 
after true. about after about five <laughs> episodes come out, she gonna, she gonna show up one day on one of the tapings and be like, uh, Dom, seriously, on some real shit. Like, um, if you call me, you know, know, could you not? <laughs> Did you not call me drug right, dudes and right, back right, anymore? Too many people are like trying to call me. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like DMX is following me in with stopping the calls and balking it's, at me. It's, it's, oh, been, it's, it's become a, a little bit of a running joke for those no, of you that's so just now funny. tuning in with us for the first time ever. Yeah, which, yeah. where the hell have you been? What rock right. have you been right. under? You're late, if you're just now tuning in to us, yeah. But, you know, uh, <laughs> if you look up Rodiz and Ridge back, <laughs> it, is, it, is, it is unfortunately a dog. <laughs> but to be clear, so the reason oh. why we started calling, <laughs> started calling Yo. Lady S of Rhodesian Ridge back. <laughs> Yo, nobody. nobody saw yes, that shit coming. Explain though. this. Is <laughs> is has nothing to do with an actual dog, but the fact that that particular species of animal is actually oh <laughs> raw, God. man. That sounds wrong. <laughs> it sounds Ladies, really explained. It sounds listen, so wrong. So let me get it out. Wrong. Go ahead, go ahead. You got it. You got but, it. But what it is is it's it's a very <laughs> unique, rare, and special animal. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> not, not yo, yo, this is not getting any better. <laughs> <sense. laughs> okay, Working. drop, drop the animal. Okay, oh, it's 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 this thing that is rare, unique, <laughs> very <laughs> expensive, and coveted by many people that most will never have. Okay, you know oh, what I mean? He's, he's it's a rarity. It, he's now, it, it, just, it, it just it just he's happens. Ninety two percent. You yeah. brought it. You yeah. brought it here. I'll take it back. Yeah, I'll take it back. I'll take it here. I'll take it back. Take it back. You know what I mean? So yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh. And if, I mean, if you got eyes, you know what I mean. You're definitely not looking, thinking of a dog. You might be feeling like acting like a dog, but <laughs> you're not looking at no dog. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So no, this is our queen at the table, our first lady. You know what I mean? And it's just, you know, Rhodesian Ridge back. It's just words. You know what I mean? Double law. Sunshine. And you got to say it just like that Rhodesian Ridge back. <laughs> you got to have, have a little cut yeah, in your bike. way, bro. Yeah, bike. 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 Rhodesian bike. Ridge, bike. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah, like you don't know, like tune on something. Rhodesian. Right. You know, I cannot. How you feeling, lady ass? I feel so great. You it's feel just great? It's a beautiful day. You give us one alive. growl, like one bark. Fuck no. Yo, you got <laughs> no, yo, I'm telling you. Give me a growl. You know, I'm going to whip your ass. Right, right, right. <laughs> like, oh, God. Wait till we get remember, outside. She, she's seriously <laughs> a thug, really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got to know. I like I like messing with her because I like to bring that thug out. Everybody be like, oh damn, look at that fine ass lady S. Dolly. She all exquisite and shit, and you know she just carry herself real. I be trying to bring that thug out. I don't know what y'all talking about. There's no thug in this body. Yeah, she, she showed up. She, you know, she showed up with the, the sleeveless denim. You know what I mean? I did. I did. Warriors. I know. Talking about ain't no thug play. in this body. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thugging. Oh. Gosh. You know, she's ready, you know what I mean? So it was all the Ridgeback jokes. She ready you know to get that. popping. You know what I mean? Okay, I was going to see if she had sneakers on. I now might be I in trouble. these really cute shoes. No, actually. yeah, you can't even see them. Like, why Why wear them if you're not going to let the people see them? I mean, though? I Thank walked you. in yeah, and good. everybody saw Call, them. Can you throw a boot up? I ain't throwing no. On camera? Man, some things up. Throw a boot up. Let them see Wait, your style. Wait, what's going on with them? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> if they fresh, You don't though. have a dress I mean, on. If they like, fresh, yeah, though, throw a boot up. You know what I'm saying? Let you the people see. Let me throw a boot they up. Throw that back. Ah. Bah! Ah. <laughs> you know, if you insist, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That suit game yeah. real. That suit game real. Like, action, yeah, no, you I had to do that ass. Blah, hey. <laughs> yo, yo, Miss Ridge back if you nasty. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you I got it. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, but, no, <laughs> but no, I got to, oh, uh, nah. I'm cutting up like this, man, because we, you know, we were talking man. a little bit off, off camera and uh, we got into this, you know, talking about the subject of the day. And, uh, you know, something, you know, we're all we're all African-American people, you mm. know what I mean? Or of African roots, mm. you know, uh, by way of American ships. But, <laughs> you know, one of the things we don't talk about a lot, like I'm kind of I was kind of amazed to hear the story start popping up when once we started talking about the topic of the day. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, really? <clears throat> you know what I mean? So, you know, and one thing that black folks don't talk about a lot is what else is out there beyond the sky? Now. Yeah. We got too much stuff kicking our ass to worry about down here on the earth. Yeah. So we don't get the chance to worry about that stuff up there, except apparently uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Oh, that's mm. my guy. But yeah, love Neil deGrasse Tyson. 
so, you know, I just wanted to sit here and just talk about, uh, uh, you know, outer space and aliens and mm. alien That's my encounters. Favorite and It's one of know. those damn topics I'm going to be quiet for because I don't Why know what though? the hell is going on. What do you think but about you it, said your name, I don't fucking but know. Seriously, <laughs> right? Like, you got to think about it, though, man. <laughs> you, you love the Bible, right? People we talk about me, it. Man. They're going to be like, why is <laughs> so quiet? Because I don't know what the fuck <laughs> they're talking <laughs> about, man. <laughs> I don't but think so about can it. You, tell you love the Bible, who right? the person is that you talked about, Neil? Uh, Neil, oh, yeah. Neil deGrasse Tyson is a, a famous scientist. Astrophysics. Uh, you know, astrophysics researcher. Oh, that's what talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, loves talking about, uh, he talks about a lot of things, but he's famous for uh, speaking on things in space. And, mm. Okay. Uh, and like he said, astrophysics. You know okay. what I mean? So he's, he's pretty much he's, a genius, but he's silly with it. He's okay. the head of, I think, the Smithsonian <laughs> in New York. I didn't know either. I, I know his name. I, I heard the you. name, but I, I didn't wanna know. I want to say he's, so. the, he's the directing head of uh, the Smithsonian in really? New York. Yeah. If you Google him, a thousand thousand different the, things or, or so he's always like on talk that. shows okay. yeah. and things like that sharing cool. his experiences. I might be wrong on that yeah but yeah so first thing I want to do is you know I want to jump into it because I, I think the funniest people you could talk to about aliens is black people oh, God. Oh, yeah. you know what I mean so, <laughs> so because <'cause, laughs> aliens yeah. and evil spirits, black people. Yeah, that's yeah, so yeah. Funny that's stuff. what I was gonna say. Because black, get a black good people, especially old black folks, you mean, you mean them demons? Uh huh. That's <laughs> demons. They will snatch you under the deck. There's no <laughs> such thing as an alien. That's demons. <laughs> you sound like my dad. <laughs> you like, yeah. I wish they could see your face. I they can't face. see my face. <laughs> <laughs> the podcast. Oh, the podcast. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right if you if you're on podcast, y'all gotta go over and see his face on YouTube. To YouTube, you gotta find out. Yeah, you gotta that was see. Awesome. <laughs> so I want to slide over. Day. You know, I, in in the United States, we have a lot of major cities. So when you're in a major city, it's harder to see the sky and what's in the yeah. galaxy mm -hmm. and all that other stuff. But in the clear skies of the natural lands of Rhodesia, you've got I knew it. a clear Listen, space. Listen, when I tell you I was sitting here waiting, <laughs> I knew I, it. I knew you look off Listen, to the side you knew it was coming. When he pauses, I'm like. <laughs> Bro, I, I immediately just closed my eyes because I was like, <laughs> I knew it was coming. Listen, when he said the clear skies. <laughs> the clear oh, skies shit. of <laughs> Rhodesia. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Look, I only did it because I looked at her and I can see Did that you, see you better not. You better not do it. You better not do it. I was like, damn, I gotta do it now. Now I gotta do it. But uh, no, but seriously, uh, you know, you you we've all been around different places and stuff like that, and uh, you've had many experiences and whatnot. You, you sure? Oh, what is this? What's, what's going on? With oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. The Rolling Stones. Oh, the Rolling yeah. Stones. Okay. Got a yeah, long right. tongue on her back. And then you got the stones across the back. Me. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. so got a big tongue that's on her fresh. bike. <laughs> you know, on her bike. <laughs> on her bike. bike. You know Yo, that's fresh, though. I like <laughs> Thank that. you. That but let's Thank get you. into the stories. You were telling a story before we got on the air. You started. Yes. And I was like, ah, save it for the show. Yes, you uh, did. Let's, let's continue that. Can you share that with our audience? What Your experience with uh, a UFO, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so this is interesting. So. I know we were talking about like extraterrestrial mm. beings and mm. stuff. And I've never seen a UFO. However, one day, a couple of years ago, I was Wait a minute, you saying you saw an alien? I'm going to tell you. Ooh, tell you. Ooh, we got shit. good. She I pulled. thought you were talking All about right. a UFO. No, I said I've never seen. No, so let me tell you. Let me mm. tell you. So what I did see was a spaceship. That's a UFO. I thought the UFO was the alien. So nah. UFO was a spaceship? Yeah. Unidentified yeah. flying object. Un uh, yeah, unidentified yeah. flying oh, object. Oh, shit. You know what? Well, yeah, where do you been? I know. <laughs> Listen, I hear UFO. See, this I is why the be ready for something to pop out. You was right. like, 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 we're going to have to edit that out, Yeah, Jay. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> nah, we got to <laughs> keep that. We got to <laughs> keep that. <laughs> this is exactly what you said. Nah, nah, I ain't never seen a UFO. What I saw was a spaceship. Spaceship. <laughs> wait, uh, wait, 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 <laughs> Look over like, waves and shake it head. You want your own shake? <laughs> yeah, just shake it head. Like, no, no, no. He was like, like, even no, I don't no, know no, what it is. Now you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> you're going to put that oh, one down. <laughs> well, the only thing better to see a UFO is a spaceship. So. <laughs> Facts. What? You know what? That's why I love Legit. it. Legit. And the truth of the matter is, it so, could have been identified. I saw a UFO. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I love y'all. Oh, <laughs> tell, tell us about I the spaceship. Yo, yo, you got, yeah, no, 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 you're not. 
Cause you know I'm not gonna let you. Do it. <laughs> no. Like that. That was some hot shit. You don't even know. You can't give any of these guys any ammo. <laughs> they gonna run with this shit. <laughs> this is gonna last forever. Oh, forever, ever. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one day I'm in New York City, and I can't remember. I feel like I was like around like Soho. Soho mm-hmm. area and I'm walking and it's like you know everybody's out so it's a group of us walking so we get to the corner and we're waiting on the light to change and all of a sudden I'm I feel like I can feel energy I feel energy shift a little bit mm-hmm. so I'm like what's everybody looking at and everybody's looking up mm-hmm. and when I look up I see this like spinning object and it's just hovering in oh, the wow. air. Like close? And it's like, no, it was like oh. far further away, but it damn sure wasn't but the it was sun. Close enough for you to see it, it spinning. Yeah, for me to and it was spinning. Oh like, wow. Circular. That's crazy. Like, yeah. So I was like, what the hell is that? So we're all looking, I'm like, what the hell? And then what was weird is it didn't like come down. It did like this sideways, like in a way that a, a airplane cannot yeah, fly. It can't move. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it cannot move that way. It did like this sideways, super, super fast. And then went to the right and then went up. And mm. it did it so quick, like, shoo, shoo, shoo. I, I mean, quick. Yeah. Oh, wow. So we're all standing there. And when I tell you, it's probably about 30, 40 people. It's like, mm. a bu- you know how it's busy yeah. in the city. Yeah. yeah. Like 30, 40 people. Light changes. Everybody's still standing there. Like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the light changed again when it was time to walk. And everybody just, what bugged me out even more. The, the whole thing was bugged out. But New the York. fact that everybody went right back to normal, like, all right. And everybody started talking again and wow. start walking. And I'm still like, what the That's fuck? That's New York for you. That's yeah. New York. Everybody like, all right. Yeah. Back to normal and shit. Yeah. And I'm sitting there like, in mind the, blown. You know what I'm saying? In the South, we'd have been wow. still sitting there like this with cameras Listen, a day later. That was crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, nah, nah, nah. crazy. No. And this was before, like, I don't even think I had a cell phone on me. This was before that era. I think phones oh. were just coming out. Okay. Mm. But it wasn't like where you record and everything. So mm. nobody had their phones out. Everybody's just like looking. Mm. Damn. Yeah. That's wild. That's yep. wild. That's crazy. crazy. Do you have any other experiences beyond that? Mm-mm. That was it. That's crazy. Wow. That was the first time I was like, okay. Because at first, when people used to talk about like UFOs or aliens, or whatever, I'd be like, eh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if I believe in that yeah, shit. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Wow. Like, I've always believed that something's out there, mm-hmm. but I don't know if it's like what we see on like sci fi and shit like I'm that. I'm glad they didn't that, take you, know? you. Me too. It was down there Me. looking like. Oh man, we've been misled. Ain't no damn no <laughs> <laughs> It's a human. They looking at us now like, oof, child of ghetto. Yeah, yeah, why so. you playing? Yeah, nah, they probably, probably, looking probably. Yeah, that's why they ain't coming. Like, Earth, like, Earth, nah, that's the hood. Yeah. We don't know the Earth. They hood as shit. They so over violent. There. They ghetto, yeah. <laughs> they kill each other. Yeah, they probably yeah. watching us on their TVs the way we be watching TV. Like, ooh, a, look at this got shit. An orange leader <laughs> who's a complete incompetent moron. <laughs> I don't know what the hell they doing down there. Yes. But Ooh. Rob, Rob, you said you had some experiences oh, too. Oh man! Like- uh, well, I had a personal experience where um, I was going somewhere, <laughs> mm-hmm. and where I go with my friends out. Oh, okay. To go what get friend? something. What yeah. were you going oh, to get? Okay. I was going to go get some Rhodesian Ridgeback. <laughs> 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 Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> All right. So I show up or whatever. Come on, that's Lee Dollars, baby. Hey, it's, so it's easy. Yeah, I'm going to go get some blood for my bro, right? And, it's, <laughs> and I'm in, I'm in Miami, and it's easily uh, got to be like I'm off of work, so it's like one o'clock at night. <laughs> and I pull up. I'm on my bike because you know in Miami, that's what you do. You ride bikes everywhere. You get, get over there, and I see a big ball of fire above his house. And how, I, how, how close was it? Ah, oh, man, I it could easily be said to be about. 50, 60 feet above his house. So if that's, it's, that's really close, that's yeah. really close. But it was close enough that he walked out his front door and saw it above his house. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. And so he comes out and uh, to my homie Herb and we literally sitting there. We're holding. I'm looking at the thing like this. I'm talking to my camera. I'm like, I have no idea what this is. He comes out. He's like, Rob. And so I look down at him and it shoots that way and shoots off. Ooh. And I'm like, and he's like, yo, what was that? I don't I don't. I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> like literally sat there. Me and him sat there quiet, honestly, for two minutes. Yeah, like, that's crazy. Yeah, you, what, you, what did you do with the video? I still have it. It's on my other phone. I still oh, you have still that, got that video. phone. I want to see I that. Still yeah, have you got to send it. To I me still too. have Yo, it. I definitely yeah, you got to pull that up. Let me see it. that. Yeah. yeah, I still have that uh, iPhone that I, I kept it because I got a bunch of stuff that's just strange on it like that. Because Miami mm-hmm. has a bunch of strange things. But I loved it because I've all you know me. I've always studied aliens. I've always studied space and space time and physics astrophysics so yeah. to actually see something like that you're trying to get hand, back home i know yeah i know right <laughs> you know i don't belong in this place <laughs> i knew it since i was born this right. is definitely not my home uh, <laughs> but like so i've always studied that stuff to see it firsthand was like 
it was my one of my favorite things ever to actually wow. see it. You know, is that it? The, not like is that all of your story, but yeah, like, that, you have, have you had any other experiences? Have I had any? I've had that crazy experiences. Um, I've had times where I, people I've talked to, like they look different mm-hmm. and they were strange. And they turned around and walked off, and I looked down to say something to somebody else, and the person literally went. Pff. Was that in court? Wait, I what do you not. mean? No, I was. <laughs> hold on, hold on. When you say that they went, pff, what is that? I mean? was, I was. I don't know how to really explain it. Like they vanished, or they moved real fast. I guess you could say a little bit of both, because it was just like they were going in a direction, and then it was like, and the person with me on that time, I remember her name is Ashley something C. And she was with me, and she just looked at me and was like, no, no. Mm-hmm. And she just kept saying no. And I was like. And you knew the person? No, no, no. The person, I have no idea who that person was. It was a random oh, person. Like, we were walking wow. down the street. Mm-hmm. And me and her running. Matter of fact, it wasn't too far away from me. It was downtown. Mm-hmm. Ran into him, and we literally sat here talking. It was like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. And we were talking to this person. And they were, they asked her for a cigarette. And they were talking, and then we were like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And I said a joke, and I turned around and looked at her, and then looked back up, and he was like, Sweet. and we both went. That's crazy. And she was like, no. <laughs> she was like, that no. That's crazy. No. And I was like, nah. <laughs> like, like yeah, nah. That shit just happened. Yeah, that shit just happened. But I've had a bunch of weird situations in my life, so right. I'm not shocked anymore. <laughs> all right, wow. all right. Mr. Tropical Pop. Old Trop. You ain't had any experiences, man? You got that moon rock on your chest. <laughs> You know what I mean? Shit, um, I watched E.T. I mean. <laughs> it came on the other night, Hey, that's too. a strange like experience. A uh, other, like other than that's that. Just, uh, oh, what are your shit. thoughts? You never seen no e. weird e. shit in the no, sky? No, or aliens and stuff. I don't like this topic, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It's <laughs> flat. Like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, but, I mean, I seen... Well, I'm sure y'all all done seen shooting stars and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. If, if, if I've seen stuff like that. I've seen stars fall out the sky. Like, that's it. Like, I don't, I ain't seen no damn aliens. <laughs> that's it. I mean, well, you know, everybody hasn't had those experiences. You know what I mean? You're from New York. Like, it's I really hard. Know. It's really hard to blow you guys' mind. Right. You ain't lying. Like, <laughs> she told her story and everybody just went back to work. So. Yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. just went right back. Yeah. New York, New York cats be like, yo, can I dry that yeah. shit, B? All right. <laughs> no, nah, I, mean. I don't give a damn. Crazy. Like. <laughs> but, like, low key, I got a theory. I think that maybe we've been spending way too much time looking for um, extra di- uh, terrestrials, mm-hmm. and maybe we need to be looking for extra dimensionals. Because, I mean, think about it. If you had the choice to travel throughout space and time <laughs> over billions of light years, right? Uh, which one would be easier to do it? Do space and time or find a way that to curve it? To curve it. But that but that's the thing. Time is bendable. It is. We we <laughs> <laughs> What the hell are y'all laughing about? <laughs> Because we get we get we get deep now. Because I love it. But I love it. You know why? Because I saw both their eyes go. <laughs> what? <laughs> but, <laughs> but now he's got a point. He's got a point because no, time is time it? is. Huh? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Extra dimensional. <laughs> Okay, okay. Extra dimensional. All right, I got yo, somebody gotta see the paper. Dime, I, what? Like extra dimensional. <laughs> extra dimensional. It means you can move to many many different dimensions. Oh, shit. Okay. So if you had to travel through space. <laughs> so like so like is yo, so yo, like this is the belief our, our reality is layered with multiple similar realities. <laughs> But yes. different things are happening in those realities. Yeah. Like alternate universes. But we can't penetrate those those dimensions to be in a different, you know, reality. But that there may be entities or people with the you know, the enough technology in other dimensions who can. Yeah. You know what I mean? And honestly, I mean, think of it this way. If you had a choice between trying to swim all the way to England or to build a submarine and go under the water, which one would you choose? You build yeah, a submarine, right? Why? Because it's a lot so it's easier. Like a quicker way to get it's there. a quicker way to get there, and that would be an idea similar to extra dimensional. If you could build something that could capsulize yourself and move through it a different way, it'd be much better. Yeah, and we 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 as humans have <laughs> relegated time to be like. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just love it because I saw both of their eyes go. <laughs> it was so good. 
this is like, that's that's some hot like, shit, nigga. I don't see why you picked this about? topic. He about to shine right now. This is my G. My G. If it comes, if it comes to physics, I would literally sit there for hours watching stuff over physics. <laughs> with the with the what? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so I was like, Yo, so politics. <laughs> well, you know, I this thought I thought I thought, right? thought my people was on politics. Is Yo. that family over everything? Shut <laughs> 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 Yo, I bro, have never I'm seen Rob's eyes glow as much as yeah. I right now, bro. Y'all don't understand how much I used to watch this shit when I was three years old. Like, Extra dimensional. Yeah. <laughs> I, it was a real back joke. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's an attack. Listen, I didn't know when he got excited. He kept saying Ridge back. I said, Hell oh, shit, it's yeah. going to be the episode. But no, there, 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 is, there are uh, a lot of bases to that. We look at time as linear. As human beings, but time is actually more of a continuum, uh, meaning that it never begins or ends. I we that. just don't know how to manipulate it, That's you know, true. and mm-hmm. bend it to our will. But the problem is, is we bend to its will. We don't have any control over it, mm-hmm. you know. And if somebody does, it's really kind of a problem. Like if there are other dimensions, and someone from another dimension has the technology oh, yeah. or that the powers so dope, to penetrate a dimension and bend time to its will t- to essentially say. So time travel would be like this if it exists or if they figure out how to do it. You take linear time and instead you find, have some way to bend it and then, okay, I can jump from here to 200 years ahead. Mm. Yeah. Because going linear is, I won't, I won't live the journey. But if I can bend time to bring it to where I can just jump across, that's jumping to time, but then you'd have to know how to control it, manipulate yeah. it. Oh my God. We don't have that technology that we know of. We don't that have that technology of. yet. Um, but my my experience, I've had some experiences, and I've had quite a few though. Really? Uh, yeah. Mm. Oh, you gotta All tell right. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So few. yeah, no, I was actually I was abducted. Oh shit! No, I'm just kidding. Like, you <laughs> <see> <laughs> like, yo, yo, cause that first <laughs> I was messed up. Everybody get did that. This shit like, just got real. No, no. Nah, this shit just got real. This nigga said he got abducted. I was God abducted. Damn. Literally, my first reaction was, and I was like, and they, <laughs> they touched me. <laughs> <laughs> was she bad? <laughs> I'm just asking if the alien was fine. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it was. <laughs> but no, nah, no. Nah, uh, <laughs> so my my very first experience, I was a kid, and uh, I was I was living in Phoenix, Arizona at the time. And I had this, like, my mom gave me this huge mag light, you know those mag light flashlights that the cops use and stuff, mm-hmm. super powerful. And it's Arizona, right? It's where we were, the sky is super clear at mm-hmm. night, right? So I'm out in the yard, my mom drifts off, falls asleep, I'm in the front yard, right? Now mind you, we're living in the hood, and you know what I mean? So I'm like this weirdo kid in the project, <laughs> you know, out in the front yard me. in a lawn chair with a big ass mag light pointing at the sky. And mm-hmm. I'm clicking like, I don't know how to do uh, what's it called? Morse code yeah, or right. whatever or SOS. I don't know how to do it, but I'd sit, sit on TV. So That's I'm, what you think. I'm like, if I just keep clicking at the sky, something, something's probably gonna respond. Mm. So I'm sitting out there, and you know, it's like start like seven. I'm sitting out there, nothing's happening. I'm doing this shit for hours, twelve o'clock, one oh, o'clock. Shoot. I'm only still out there because my yeah, mom right. fell asleep, you know, on yeah. the couch. You know, she worked in three shifts. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'm still out there, like something gonna see this. I mean, it's like three in the morning. I'm about to give up, right? So I'm still clicking, clicking, clicking my light at the sky. So eventually I stop, you know, arm tired and all that stuff. I put it, put it down and I'm just staring at the sky and all these stars and I'm like, something's gotta be out there. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, when I'm just about to give up, I see what looks to be like a shooting star, right? First it was just a star sitting still. Mm-hmm. But then I seen it moving, so I just rationalized that shit in my head like, okay, it's a shooting it's star mm-hmm. all of a sudden. And it's moving, and it does similar like what you were talking about, where it was moving. So, so, I mean, super in the distance. I couldn't, you know, make out any detail or anything. And it's just moving, and I'm like, okay, it's a comet, you know, or a falling shooting star or something. And then it was like choo, 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 zigzag yep. and was out, but at a speed that was like, now I, I was Natural. like, I might be a kid, but I know a damn shooting Brain star can't, do that. can't go this way and then just zigzag back the other way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, now this I knew on a plane it was too far. Yeah, okay. It couldn't have been a plane. You know what I mean? It was up there with the stars and then it started mm-hmm. moving. And satellites yeah. can't move like that. Yeah. Right. And so of course I'm a kid, nobody believed me, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I never forgot that, right? Yeah. 
So then I had. Why you laughing? Stop laughing at you because you went. Then I then I had other experiences, and um, you know where. Uh, let's see. I had a recent experience actually, uh, right here in the city, and again, not anything real close. But I literally, it was so crazy. I had to call my homeboy on Facetime, and I was like, "My dude, look at this shit I'm seeing, and tell me I'm not crazy, mm. right?" Going up the road, and which one of y'all said something about a fireball? Me. You? Okay. Was it on market? Nah, it was. Okay, uh, I think I saw it was uh, something, uh, and I just uh, thought um, I was tripping out. I, I mean, like, but I'm you sure could have from it. market. You know, it was so high up. You know, I could have seen it from anywhere. Okay. Yeah, I was coming up uh, Carolina Beach Road. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going up CB Road. It's near sunset. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's about that time the sun start going down, and so it's not dark, but it's getting dim. Mm -hmm. And I'm just driving like normal, and I see this orange ball in the sky. Right. Yeah. And I'm like. I'm trying to, you know, I'm like, what the hell is that? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you, cause your brain starts rationalizing. It's got to be some kind of plane right. or mm -hmm. something's happened. I'm like, why would an orange, I've never seen no plane that's an orange ball yeah. or have a light on it that looks like an orange fireball. And so I'm just looking at it. So I start looking around at other people driving like, y'all seeing this shit? <laughs> you know I, mean? I can't be, because it, it was a busy road. Yeah. I'm like, I can't be the only person seeing because it was dead in front of us, like up in the sky, mm -hmm. but it was in front of us, all of us. So it wasn't going across or nothing like where you just saw a glimpse. It's literally just sitting there and mad people on the road. So I'm like, somebody else has to be seeing mm -hmm. this. Yeah. And I'm looking, and sure enough, other people drive too, like, what? Wow. You know, so I knew other people were seeing this, mm -hmm. and that's when I FaceTimed my homeboy. I was like, yo, look at this crazy shit. I said, dude, Help me out, man. What is that? Right. And he was like, shit. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, a fireball? I was like, I was like, okay, so you see what I see. What is that? He was like, bro, I don't know, but I would suggest you get out the area. <laughs> so I'm sitting there and seeing it, and then, then similar. It's just sitting there for a moment, right? Yeah. And so I'm like, it's got to be something. Somebody lit a hot air balloon on fire or something. Some crazy. It's got to yeah. be something. And then it goes from just sitting in the sky, and then it starts to fall, right? So I'm like, yo, what is going on? And then that shit said, went up and was gone. I mm. was like, yo, okay. I'm, 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 I'm done with this yeah. shit. Like, there's no it's more. Real. It's enough to make you spaz out for a second. <laughs> right, exactly. You know what I mean? So There's no more saying, like, yeah, nah. that right. can't happen. Right, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And then what about the report? Like, Something that's been blowing my mind is mm. because, I mean, in, in all actuality and technicality, uh, uh, the government has come out and said, the Pentagon said, you know, the leaked video of the pilot pursuing the oh, uh, yeah. the UFO and then mm -hmm. it shot off and he's bugging out because he's like, I don't know what this is. And I don't play mm -hmm. move like this. Yeah. Right. And it's like, we're, and then you're talking about they're in fighter jets. Right. You know how fast fighter you, jets yeah, go? To be able to say They've that known. nothing <laughs> moves like this and you in a fighter jet, that's a problem. They couldn't keep up with it. Right. And you're in a fighter. You go. You can go Mach four, Mach five, I believe. You know what I mean? Yeah. Damn near the speed yeah. of sound. Dang. And you're talking about you're pursuing something that in your machine loses you. you can't keep up with it. And you, you can know break what I mean? sound barriers. That's and the crazy. fact that the Pentagon finally, they didn't come out and say, "Oh, it's BS." They came out and said, "Okay, the video's real, but it shouldn't have been leaked." Yeah. Why is that not the top of every news cycle? That's how crazy 2020 is. Yeah, that's how you know so it's crazy. crazy. <laughs> but no, but no, this came out before COVID hit. Oh, damn, wow. really? This is not brand new information. Like, and there's an actual video. You can watch what the you know pilot what? is oh, seeing. Oh, I gotta go watch. You it. know what's funny it. though? If aliens show up in 2020 right now. Who would be shocked? Oh, we wouldn't be shocked. We, at everybody all. would do this. Everybody would be like, yo, yeah, that's there you go. Right. <laughs> like, it, 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 it would make a whole bunch of sense. It, After everything that's been going on lately, like You said it like, would make sense? It or would. Wouldn't? It would make oh. a whole yeah. bunch yeah. of sense. Like yeah. we we've gone through some shit that's right. been, this like, been some wild shit. shit. It might be out there. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then up your alley, like, you read scriptures and stuff. Mm -hmm. How about every <laughs> uh spiritual uh book has mentioned Aliens or some kind of extraterrestrial or extra dimension. Mm. You losing waves, man. I know you know, I did. You, did. You, know, <laughs> you know, left the yard. I, wave, I saw. You know? Well, okay, saw. Wave, so wave. Have you ever had anything just odd happen? Who That's, me? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, we was in L.A. and some dude was outside fixing my car, and um, I don't know what I, I was actually just trying to look for because you said something that reminded me of it. And it was this big white ball that was in the sky, mm. and it was just like floating. So 
I'm like, oh shit, something is happening. I'm gonna be the first to report it. <laughs> so I got, I and it's in my phone somewhere. I'm looking for mm-hmm. it. I was recording it. And then I, got, I got on Instagram, get ready to put it on. And everybody in LA had already seen this shit. So oh, I was like, really? damn, yeah. Yo, so we all so saw it, that so big it ball. It was weird. It was some big white ball that was just in the sky. Now, was, it, was it a ball or was it like rounded, but it had a tip? I don't know about all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cause that, was it like moving around or was it just like going it was up? Like, it was like just going. And Cause like, I think I know what you're talking about. Cause yeah, everybody in LA was, was like, no, nah, I wasn't out there at the time, oh, yeah, but it was yeah. like all over people. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, everybody was talking about it. And like, they were trying crazy. to say it was like some SpaceX shit or something. Like, people were like, nah, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, like, nah. But y'all <laughs> brought me back to reality. They think <laughs> about that shit like, wait a minute, hold on. That's yeah, yeah, I did see that. So you, you just but, never know. But that's exactly what that looking like in Miami. It was this big ball. Yeah. The only thing is, is it stopped above his house, and it was just one of those. No, 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 no. This is the problem because it sat there for a second. Oh shit! I ain't gonna be able to sleep tonight. But speaking of, speaking of L.A., it just reminded me of the story we were talking about before we got on air, which was I was in L.A. in the backyard of the crib with my homeboy, and I'm out there having my normal coffee in the beginning, you know, nice, beautiful backyard, out there having my coffee and whatnot. And, you know, it's middle of the broad daylight. And in LA, if you've been to LA, it's usually blue skies. You know, mm-hmm. it's never really, you get clouds every now and again, but it's normally daily is blue skies, right? Mm-hmm. Clear, you can see everything. Yeah. And I'm out there and I just happen to look up and I'm looking at this vehicle or what I was assuming was some kind of vehicle going through the sky. I see four jet streams. Right now, mm. first it started off with two jet streams. So I'm like, "What? What? Why can't I see the plane or whatever right. it's coming yeah. out of?" And then it turned into four jet streams. So whatever it was was powered heavy, power heavy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And these are thick jet streams and just flying across the sky. And you didn't see anything in front of it. And there was nothing to see oh, that was yeah. putting out the jet streams. Yo, that's wow. Whatever crazy. it was, was completely invisible. So I'm thinking I'm tripping, right? So I called my homeboy who's just right in the kitchen inside the house. And I'm like, hey, come out here, bro. Like, please come out here and help me tell me what this is. Right. And he comes outside and he's like, he's like, well, man, what, what's up, what, what? You know, like I'm bothering him, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that sounds like Yeah, like, what's, that what's like, what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm like, what's that sounds just like Yeah, he's like, what's, what, what's going on? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, dude, look up there. You see them jet streams? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just looking at him like, and I see his face change. And I'm like, uh-huh. Right. What the hell are those coming out of? <laughs> right. And he was just looking up like, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know. And I pull my phone out and I started recording. And even in the recording, I got to find it and I'll send it to you guys. But even in, in the recording, and I think I had posted on Instagram mm-hmm. that same day, I think. Mm. And uh, but in the recording, you can see clearly. You see the jet streams. That's crazy. And you see no vehicle Nothing attached to these jet streams. That's a trip. Now I'm trying to think of what the hell plane or whatever we have that is that, that, that big, cloak itself, that, like right? That? Yeah. It's clo- essentially cloaked. And I know I've seen like little things of it being talked about. Yeah. But that's some hot, super high end <laughs> technology that if we are there, then. You know, it is super top and secret. And as far as I, I know, so far the military had just come out with, I think it was uh, Spec just came out with a sheet that they can throw in front of themselves mm-hmm. that will completely cloak them. But that's just a sheet. So imagine trying to cloak a plane. Yeah, you're talking that about has some four heavy power. Streams. Yeah, you're talking about some mm-hmm. heavy power. And that's then crazy. Four, and like you said, four jet streams, that's a big craft. That's a big craft. Plane. Yeah, it is. You know what I mean? That ain't no little Especially craft. Especially with thick jet streams. Yeah. yeah. From a distance, that's right. a lot Right. You got of two that come off Boeing 757s. So four? What is four. that? Four. That's good, God. You know what I mean? What would you What would you do, Wave? What would you do if you were asleep and all of a sudden, you know, your room lit up with bright lights mm. and heavy wind? And you looked out there and something was beaming down. I would think Jesus returned. Yep. Because what if you, you seen it, the door open, it wasn't Jesus. I said, I'm running. I don't know. <laughs> you, were running, you wouldn't try to like communicate with them? Hell or? no. What yeah, nah, I'm kind of with him for? on that. Um, yeah, nah. I mean, if they just beam down on your crib, bro, you think you can run for, outrun them? Shit, listen, I have something special in my bag that I carry with me. No, anyway. that's right. There you go. Okay, let me say this again. Like, they just beam down from out of the You think they <laughs> yeah, worried the about the instinct the damn, what you did in yeah. your bag? That <laughs> that fight instinct <laughs> kill them. <laughs> whatever that fight it is. It's fight or flight, yeah. yeah fight but what, flight. If, what if they just thought you were dope and they heard boom from out of space and you start an intergalactical war fuck by shooting one? And they're like, oh, we enemies. We didn't know. We yeah. came to fuck with them. 
like, oh, why you ask me this question? <laughs> <laughs> nah. I mean, because I honestly, nah, I like the nah, because nah, it's nah, dope, though. It's dope, though. I don't know, because, man. Because honestly, honestly, I like the way you think. You don't yeah. think like everybody else. You know what I mean? Mm. All right, so what if you had to ask him a question, if you got a chance to speak to one, what would you want to take? Do you know? Uh, do you know Jesus? That's a good question. That's a good question. That's a great question. They're like, yeah. Nah, I'll probably ask. Yeah, he used to work for me. So that would What would you say then? You the devil? Work for me? Yeah, you the devil? No, what if you find out? It's like, no, I'm, I outrank him. He's an officer in our military, and he came down. We sent people to all the planets. Do you know how Yo, bad that, that was? Bad out all the people. <laughs> Mind blown, right? Exactly. I would, even be able I, would I would literally have, have to be like, all right, yeah. you do know you have to prove this. <laughs> like, no, I ain't asked nobody <laughs> to prove nothing. Yeah. He just disappeared. Like, wow. All right, it's proven for me. <laughs> I don't quite believe what you say, but I believe you got the power to say it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jeez, I've seen so much though. weird, odd stuff in my lifetime. Yeah. And yeah. Weird, odd stuff that it's very few things that can really just blow my mind yeah. what would you ask uh, Ellen, if you got a, sp- a chance to speak to him se habla espanol <laughs> no I'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> not them kind of aliens okay. lord of mercy okay. <laughs> lord of mercy <laughs> I like how you did that. I like how you did that. I just completely zoned out. <laughs> I didn't catch the joke until he said it. I was like, oh. I, I, I can no, see the, I can so see the that wheels was, That was funny. <laughs> look, I, my I, brain, I was like, this fool is stupid. <laughs> I, look, I guarantee. Like, I guarantee and they just got quiet. I guarantee you her first immediate thought was, why would I be speaking Spanish? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. Like, what is she like, what? Okay. This conversation really good. Okay. <laughs> you know, there's some people out there like, yo, they crazy. They still Yes, we are. And they probably ask, how up. much weed do they smoke? No, we, yeah, we, we yeah, have. Nah. No yeah. Oh, God. That would be, that would be a whole different show if we was getting oh, high. Oh, God. I, oh, I have an idea for Smoke it, chips. <laughs> but um, I would probably ask them, like, what is something that Earth doesn't have that you could give me? that I would have, whether oh. it was like a special power, whatever, something. That would be dope. Yeah. Yo, that's crazy. That's what I would ask. That's crazy. Like, that's I want some, a, I want some knowledge question. and I want the superpowers, like impart wow. something. Please. Yeah. I, I ain't thinking that. That's dope. Okay. I mean, cause. Oh, impart something, mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've been hearing about you. That's funny. <laughs> that's what we hear about. <laughs> 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 what would be, and I love that. What would be your question? What would be yours? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know what? I, man. There would be so many, like, first of all, you know, after, you know, trying to get over being flabbergasted. Right. You know, I'd, I'd be like, you know, what are your intentions here? Oh, man, first I, of I all, wouldn't be ready for that one, though. It's like, it why are bad? you here? Right. Well, because yeah. the first thing I'm thinking is you guys have been so just. Incognito. So incognito, long. not yeah. in contact that we know of or any of that for so long. And obviously you're here, so you had the technology to do it. Mm-hmm. So why are you here now? Yeah. Because that usually will signal either the beginning or the end of something. You know or what both, I mean? Or both. <laughs> right. And then just let them know, like, look, if you just don't kill me, I'll tell you what everybody <laughs> Okay. I know I, think they have tried to be I got a fine before. ass Rhodesian sure. red back down no, the street. I-, <laughs> I got a chocolate martial artist. <laughs> You know, a tropical right. pop. So we all know Dominic is going to sell us all out to the end. Nah, I, I wouldn't do you like that. I'd be like, you know, you know I'd, I'd first ask what are they here for? And then secondly, I'm like, you know, whatever y'all about to do, can you make me one of the bosses? <laughs> That's smart, though. That's a hey. good question he would ask, for real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. I don't want nah, to yeah, end that's up, you know, like, everybody's going to be slaves. Well, look, can I just, you know, I'll, 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 I'll tell y'all how everything works on Earth. And I'll, just, right. you know, I'll be a liaison, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> questions, I'll translate, you know what I mean? Just don't fuck me up. Legit. <laughs> Legit. You know I give you that. I give you that. What Something just leaked on my head. Oh, man. Oh. We talking oh. about this subject. Yeah, you started to look it up. All right, so I got a question for y'all. For yeah, yeah. What's something just otherworldly or odd or weird or scary that's happened to you? Oh, man. And maybe it's Shit. not even like aliens, but something just like that is Shit. not normal. That was like, whoa. My whole me out. life, girl. Oh, my whole life is otherworldly. <laughs> 
That's a good question. Uh, give us an or example. Or you ever had like a scary something happen? Oh, yeah. No, you, you got to give us an you example. You say you have a lot to say, so give us an yeah, example. Yeah, you got to so give us I, an I example. Have, I have a story, it. but yeah. I, I just relegated it to more of like a spiritual thing mm-hmm. than aliens. But I've had a lot of I mean, that's a, that's, a, that's, a, but yeah, that's, that's a a concept. Well, I mean, yeah. that's extra dimensional. I hadn't even thought about it. A spiritual thing it, is out Maybe it wasn't spiritual. Wakanda. And Wakanda. And Wakanda. And Wakanda. You know, that was the whole concept that our ancestors can come back to us in our dreams and guide us and. So the spiritual thing could be definitely is something. No, it's it's, it's a trip. That's I mean, it, this is off topic, but it'll trip you out because it's something that really happened to me. And, um, you know, my mom can attest to it. And because uh, like, when people talk about haunted houses, that shit ain't real. No, nah, I lived in one. Ooh. That shit is real yeah. to the MF and deal. Oh, yeah, deal. I remember you telling me about that one. Yeah, yeah, we live because in Fayetteville, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but Edgar Allan Poe has a home there. They, it's oh, all wow. like uh, it's it's like a historical building now so you know it's still there Mm -hmm. you know what i mean i didn't know this until i was got older and moved Mm -hmm. out and uh my mom explained it to me and when i went back i was like oh that shit really edgar Allan poe had it Mm. you know and if you know his poetry was always dark oh yeah you know like the raven Mm -hmm. and it was always about dark and death Mm -hmm. and you know all that other kind of stuff right so we live like two doors down from that area and the neighborhood was creepy anyway it's Mm -hmm. like in downtown i think down downtown area um and i was a kid so I didn't understand certain things, you know what I mean? Right. And so literally we we moved, I think we were in this house like three weeks, okay? That's how bad it was. Really? Yeah, you know black women ain't playing that. Yeah. The first, the first week. We're not week, gonna wait to find out. The first week my mom was in there like, all right, now nah, I done paid the damn deposit in here. <laughs> Y'all better get right. the hell out. You gonna leave before we do. Right. <laughs> you know, and then week two was like, okay, Something all right, right. See, uh, you know, uh, hmm. And then week three is like, I don't give a damn about the money. Like, we got to get the hell up gone. out of here. Yeah. And so, you know, we had, um, there was one particular incident and I never forgot. I mean, I literally can remember it exactly what it looked like and everything. Right. Ooh. So I'm watching, I'm a kid, I'm sitting in front of our TV. We had the big, you know, the wooden TV sits mm-hmm. on the floor. With, you have to change the channel with the mm-hmm. knobs and uh, just watching TV. And uh, I'm sitting there, and it's a, uh, it's, you know, they used to have those exercise shows on t- on TV uh, back yeah. in the oh, day. Yeah. yeah, so I'm sitting there, and uh, it was a blonde-haired white lady who was, like, the teacher of the class. Mm-hmm. And it was like, uh, you know, you know how they have extras in the background doing the workout mm-hmm. as she's, mm-hmm. you know, giving you instructions. So I'm watching it because, you know. You know I'm like an aerobic show. Yeah, like an aerobic show. Yeah, I'm a little perv, so I'm just like, oh, tights. And, 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 <laughs> you know, look at these ladies. We knew you what know, he was watching. Yeah, you know, so I'm, you know, I'm checking it out. Like, okay, all right, doing a little workouts and stuff. And then at some point, the lady that's doing now. Here's the trippy part: the whole time this conversation is happening, they're not stopping the workouts. They're, the workouts are still continuing, right? Okay. And she's not even instructing them anymore, but they just know, you know mm-hmm. what I mean, like what to do next. As if she were, mm-hmm. and so she's you know sitting there kick doing a little, the little scissor kicks and you lay on your side and you kicking mm-hmm. one leg up and she's just doing the whole thing giving instruction and it's just like and the camera starts to kind of zoom in a little bit mm-hmm. and it's like hi little boy, <gasps> I, nah y'all I and remember so, him look, telling me about this. Yo, somebody gonna have to take <laughs> Wavy <laughs> home, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so look, there's yeah, otherworldly <laughs> shit. So. She's like, hi, little boy, you know, as the camera's going in. So, and at this point, I'm thinking this is the coolest shit in the world because I'm thinking I just discovered something I never knew about television. Right. You can talk to the people? I didn't know that. <laughs> right, I'd be talking to all my cartoons. Like, oh what? Oh, my God. Buzz Bunny? Yeah, so I'm like, this is dope. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I'm excited. I'm not scared. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, shit. You know, like, right. hey. And she's like, what's your name? And I'm like, uh, Dominic. Mm-hmm. She's like, hi, Dominic. And it was nothing like nefarious or evil about it. She was just asking me questions. Oh, you know what I mean? Where are you from? You know, and still doing the hike that it was changing angles and everything, still doing all the workouts and stuff like that. And so, you know, after talking to her for like 10 minutes, mm-hmm. answer, and it was just her asking me questions and right. I'm answering them. Mm. And like a little kid would. Right. So I'm bugging and I'm like, you know, I'm thinking, my mom, does she know that you can talk to the TV? Talk to the TV. So I run into the kitchen. She's right in the next room in the Mm -hmm. kitchen washing dishes. Mm -hmm. And I run in there. I'm like, mom, 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 you know, you know, you can talk to the TV. I'm talking to the people right now. <laughs> oh can you imagine God. your baby telling you that? <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, right. I didn't know how crazy oh, I sounded. Yeah, you know, right. I'm hyped, you know, and, you know, I'm talking to her. And she's, you know, just looking at me like, what the hell are you talking about now? Mm-mm. And I'm like, come in, come in, come talk to the TV. The lady in the TV is talking to me. 
and this is before crazy shit started happening. So my mom didn't know at the time. So she's okay. like any adult, like this. Oh Lord, I'm gonna have to get my baby some medicine. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's gonna be he gonna be in a special class. You know, <laughs> yeah, damn. I thought he was gonna be the good one. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, so so she comes in there, you know, but like reluctantly, like all right, my idiot child, let me go with him, poor baby. And so she comes in there and she's like, okay, um, you know. And I'm like, you know, look, that's what I'm talking to the lady right there. Now, the lady's not talking anymore. Mm-hmm. She's just still giving her instruction, and then it goes to commercial. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm still like a dummy at the TV. Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Knocking on the TV like, why are y'all not talking to me? Right. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And so, and so, and that was the only time that happened, you mm-hmm. know? And so, that went away, but then shit got worse. And so, <laughs> so one time we went to the movies uh, it was like a few days later, mm-hmm. we went to the movies and um, we left the house. My mom, like normal, you know, you got black parents. If you ain't balling, you know, you know every single light coming off, the AC That's going right. up to a you know at least livable temperature right. until we get back. <laughs> you uh-huh. know, saving right. that electricity. Mom cuts everything off. We leave. We go to the movies. We come back. Why is every light in the house on? Right. So at first, my mom is nervous, thinking somebody like we got robbed or yeah. somebody went in the house. Mm-hmm. So she, you know, she's like, stay here. I'll never forget it. She's like, stay here in the car. I'm going to go check this out real quick. Don't move. Y'all stay right here. So she gets out of the car, goes to the house slowly. The door is locked like normal and shit. She opens the door. and We can see her creeping through the house, mm-hmm. checking all the rooms and stuff. Nobody's in the house. Nothing's missing. Right. So then she gets us. We come in the house. She's turning the lights off and all that other stuff, right? And she's just like, you can see she's perplexed. Like, what the hell? Because not only were the lights all off, but all the drawers were open and all the cabinets were open. Uh, And nothing was missing. I don't don't have no clue. They want to open everything. It was like everything was open. So she had to go push all the drawers back closed, close all the cabinets, all the Mm -hmm. stuff, turn off the lights, but nothing else was wrong, right? So then there's another time. I'm sitting there. Again, the living room was next to the kitchen. You can see in the kitchen. My mom's in there frying chicken, right? I'm sitting there looking in the kitchen, and I see the chair from the table just go mm. across the behind her, across straight the up, kitchen, straight up, slowly. And I'm like, no, I, I'm a kid again. I'm like, wow, right. you know what I mean? Like, I want to get in that chair, you know? So I'm like, <laughs> so I'm like, ma, you know, like. The chair. <laughs> and I forgot what kid you were. Yeah, nah. Right. Y'all, so, y'all got to know this about him. I've known him since he was young. This is the kid he was. I want to get in that chair. Yeah, that's his mind. Okay. Yeah, because I'm thinking it's some cool shit, you know. I, the chair is moving across the damn kitchen. I'm thinking mm-hmm. that something that happens, you yeah. know. Right. And she turns around and she's like, boy, quit playing with me. Because like, my mom, you know, she ain't no nah, joke, you know, right. she's, she ain't like Santana. me playing with, you know. So I'm like, you know, uh, shout, out, shout out to moms. My but uh, hey, auntie, the OG, but uh, the triple OG. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he do that all the time. Hey, you hey, 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 hey. <laughs> yo, because while y'all playing, his mom do she ain't do no joke. Yo, y'all can't play with the dude. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Yo, because all the respect, yeah. bro. Because you got to have, oh if you, when you meet hey, Tracy Santana, <laughs> you'll get why you got to do that. If, Yo, or what's up? to like eight and shit. Yeah, yeah. nah. It's, 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 <laughs> if you've if you been, you been jacked up by my mom before, then you know. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you know. You know the act right. <laughs> but, but so, so you so know, she, says, she, thought, she thought I moved the chair right. messing with her. Right. And so I'm about to get in trouble because, again, my mom don't like to be played with, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> so nah. she moved the chair back. You know, you put the chair back where it was and leave the damn chair alone get out of my kitchen. And I'm like, I wasn't even in the kitchen, but all right. I go, <laughs> I go put the chair back. Sitting there again, watching. I'm like, ma, <laughs> ma, the chair. She turned around, now I'm about to get my ass whooped because my mom think, you know, now nah, I done told you quit messing with me mm-hmm. and you're going to come in here and move the chair again. I'm like, I'm like, yo, I'm on. I have nothing to do with this. You know right. what I mean? Like, I'm now I'm getting nervous because my mom don't play. You know, so I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm about to get my ass whooped. <laughs> she moved the chair back. She like, let that chair move one more time. <laughs> now I'm like, Oh God, I'm about to get my ass whooped because yeah. I have no control over why this chair is moving. It's going to do it again. And so I'm sitting there, and I'm fortunately, I'm, this is what happens. I'm still in the living room, and I'm not close enough to run behind her, move that chair, run back while she's turning mm-hmm. around. So 
About 10 minutes go by, she's still frying. Now she's annoyed because she thinks I'm just fucking with her for no reason. And so the chair starts moving again. But this time, I'm like, Ma! So she turns around. It stops right behind her. So she doesn't see it move, but it just stopped when she turned Mm. around. But it's right there behind her. She looks at me and realizes he is way too far to have just ran in and moved that chair behind me and then ran back out and just be standing there. So, but she's still trying to rationalize, like, <laughs> what the hell is going on? Right. But she knows, I now she knows I didn't do that. Right. So, and then nobody else is in there. So, she's just like, oh, I can see her wheel spinning, like, there's, there's some logical explanation yeah. to this. <laughs> you know what I mean? But there wasn't. You know what I mean? So, she keeps trying to just kind of ignore little things here and there, like the lights. And, the, like, when the lights was on, I would have been out then, but my mom was like, mm-mm. I saved up for this. It was, yeah. you know, from where we had, like it and where we had come from, it was a lot nicer yeah. than what we had been used to. And she got a really good deal on it. Now we know why. Right. But, <laughs> right. but, and then um, there was another thing. I think the creepiest thing that was scary, because I didn't understand this, there was literally my, me and my brother's room. The way the room was, he was on one wall and I was across the room on the other wall, right? Mm-hmm. And so, this was something that was occurring like every other night, which was there was literally this like the bust of a person, of a dude, right? And it wasn't like evenly cut off. You couldn't see his legs or anything, but it was just like one side you could see you could see him clearly, and then it was like it would fade, but it was an uneven fade, and then you couldn't see nothing, mm. you know? And he would walk in the middle of our room and oh, just walk in damn. circles. He never bothered us. Right. He was he he was obviously chubby. He had a bald head. He was blue. Like, everything was like a blue t- uh, filter on mm-hmm. him. Right. And he had, like, prison. You could see he had the black and white old school prison, the inmate uniform oh, on wow. with the number right here. And and he, but the thing that was scary about him, because he just looked horrible. Like, he just looked like some mean, yeah. ugly, mm. monstrous type, you know, person. And he just head down, just milling about our room. And he just slowly just looking angry. But he never, like, mm. You know, looked Thank at us goodness. crazy you sh- or bothered Listen, us. Listen, it took everything in me not to jump just now. You don't even know. <laughs> you, said, you said he had a blue filter. Can you tell, like, if it was a black guy, though? No, I think it was a white guy. I think it was a white guy, uh, from what I could tell, from what I remember. He was That's just blue. Crazy. He was just blue, like a blue glow. And and the the um number. Yeah, yeah. he clearly had, he, clear, that area. he clearly yeah. had a pr- an inmate number, you know, thing yeah. on his chest. Because downtown, and black you and know, white the, stripes. The jail is downtown, so no, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Huh? Mm. yeah, the jail is downtown. So when you say that, it's like, ugh, like I got chills. Like. He will walk around our room, and he would pop up every so often. Now, when we first seen him, you know, we scared shitless. Mm-hmm. You know, we told our mom, and my mom was like, mm, there's a blue dude walking around your room, like, mm-hmm. cut the shit. And so we like, okay, I'm not gonna tell mom anymore, because, you know, she we just look like it. liars, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And he kept coming. And because he was so mean and ugly and scary looking, it scared the shit out of us. Of course. But after about the third or fourth time, he didn't look at us, he didn't bother us, and we didn't try to touch him or anything, we just, curl up in our beds like right. oh he's back <laughs> you know what i mean and so but then once we realized we kind of got comfortable because it's like okay he doesn't bother he doesn't us do you know, he doesn't do anything to us he just moaned like he was just super depressed Dang. and angry and just walking around in a circle in between our beds that has to be hell man that, that means he can leave there he's crazy. stuck yeah he's stuck yeah that's, that's crazy hell. As hell. <laughs> now i know stuff like that like right. <clears throat> because when you was just talking about it it just reminded me of when me and my family stayed back in new york and um we all downstairs, we all downstairs, like, watching a movie or something like that. And, uh, like, my brother, he was like, okay, I'm tired. I'm about to go upstairs and go to sleep. Mm-hmm. So he goes, my brother's a big dude, right? Mm-hmm. So he goes up the stairs. Then I heard him come down running. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell are you running for? So I jump up. Me and my mom jump up. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? He said, there's somebody upstairs. There's somebody upstairs. So first thing we all do is haul ass out the door. <laughs> <laughs> my mom, too. Right. My mom, my mom. <laughs> <laughs> got the hell Ain't out nothing of there. to ask about. My mom was like, oh, nah. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? So so then she eventually said, 
Like your mom says, <laughs> yeah. I'm about to go check. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But my mom was the type, she stepped in the door and said, nah, let me call your stepfather. <laughs> so she calls him and he comes with the gun. He's like, he going through the house, like, what's going on? Right. And ever since that day, it just felt like there was a presence that was living in the house with wow. us. You should feel it. Yeah, like you you can feel it. And he the way he described them, he described them like vividly, like everything about him. I was like, damn, man, like in that short glimpse, you seen all this. He said he was a big black dude and he was just wow. he was upstairs he was just upstairs so then every time then everything about that place just got weird like we would come in lights would be on mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying mm. just different little weird stuff there would be something we would see like like if we left something on a dress or something mm-hmm. like that mm-hmm. it'll be in a different area when we came back yeah oh. we dealt with yeah. something like you know that what I'm saying? so it was like stuff I, just I, being like yeah, the chair just moving weird. Bro, yeah, I don't know what that is. And man. for us, it got it got more aggressive, and that's when my mom was like, "This is clearly yeah. not the some house. other world." Like, yeah. 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 It got aggressive towards. No, 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 not nothing okay. happened to us because at more. that at that point we went through a situation back again with the lights and the cabinets, mm-hmm. where like you might have seen in movies and stuff mm-hmm. before. One night, like I said, little things were happening. I think we were seeing more of it mm-hmm. than my mom was, mm-hmm. you know, because it was still like a toss up for her of like. Okay, are they just fucking bugging, or are they really, really seeing happening. some shit? Because I'm yeah. not seeing this other than she saw the light situation, but she didn't see it happen. Mm-hmm. And so, um, you know, and the TV thing and other stuff. And so, excuse me, little stuff kept happening that we kept seeing and stuff like that. And the blue dude, he was always, he wasn't there every night. It was like every few nights he would right. just pop up randomly. That's mm. crazy. Right. Yeah, and so, and, and oh God, it was torture because we would be so scared and uh, right. we weren't scared that it was gonna do anything to us, but it's always that in the back of your mind, is what tonight is? the night? Yeah, right. he turned around with fangs. Yeah. yeah, right. Something so, happened. So, so you know, so it was just like you know, we telling my mom like you know, we can't sleep in there. Yeah. And my mom was like, y'all, she, she's thinking we just trying to get in her room because we're little kids, and yeah. you know, how little kids are. I want to sleep with you. Mm. So she thought we was just BSing to try to get out of being in our room, and so we're having to deal with this, you know every night when he popped up, yeah, you know? And so, uh, but finally it got more aggressive in the way of, um, you know, it, it was after little things happening one night, the lights in the kitchen started going on and off, on and off, on and off. And my mom was just like, still trying to rationalize, you know, like, Maybe what is going short, on? Uh, yeah. yeah, what's going on? Till the drawers and the cabinet started slamming. Mm. And she saw that. Mm. And I kid you, when she saw that happen, That's my dude, knew. Grabbed a few clothes right then, <laughs> yeah. out, oh, that's nice. left out, got in the car, it. and my mom was like, "That's it." That's and a real black us, horror we, film. We spent the night. We spent the <laughs> that's night. How it yeah, is. we spent the night at a friend's house. My mom came back the next day with a U-Haul and was pulling that's shit right. out, and yep. we and we never went back. Good. You know what I mean? Good. So that's you know. It so when like people they say was stuff like that, with y'all though, it's, like the kids because. Just how you you scream for your look at me getting all into it and shit. Remember, see how you nah, scream really for your don't. moms and was like was like ma, and then the chair stopped. Mm-hmm. So it was like, was he was they just fucking with y'all? They or were. What, what, yeah. what was that? I don't I don't know. I think um I think whatever it was knew that if the adult knows, then mm-hmm. they're gonna leave. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know if his goal was something evil, mm-hmm. if it was trying to send a message, if it was just to say I'm trying to get your attention, let you know, hey, I'm stuck here. Do you think you can help me? It could have yeah. been that situation. I don't know. We, don't, yeah. we didn't stick around to find out what its yeah. intention was because usually, you know, like you see in the movies, it leads to, to some dog something shit bad. Yeah. And like like you see in the movies, one thing I will say that uh, seems to be a true thing is it wants attention. Like it gets more power. Whatever I mean, it is, yeah. it's more power. The more you believe in it or yeah. focus yeah. on it, and yeah. you're like, oh, this is real, mm-hmm. it gets stronger. Oof, um, you know, and I don't know if that was the case. You know, I just know that the shit happened, mm-hmm. and it was near Edgar Allan Poe's house. I don't know if that had anything to do with it. I remember it was, your mama it was said me that, that his house and that, it said that that whole area around his house is haunted. Yeah, he was summoning some demons. Something was really wrong with him. So mm-hmm. I didn't know he lived in the Ville. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. It's not the only place he lived in, but yeah, he's got a home That's there. That out. yeah, they got the whole historical th- stuff on it. That's crazy. Yeah. I didn't know he had demons and all that stuff going on. Yeah, he was I mean, that, if you, you read his poetry, to, if you listen to some, some of his writing, you he you, was you dark. Tell he's, he's super dark. He was but very dark and odd. Yeah. He dealt with some crazy. Stuff. He was a great poet, but he, he dealt with some wild stuff. I'll tell y'all a story. Yeah. yeah, tell us a story. So, 
Hmm. Back in Rhodesia. This is, a, well, y'all gonna be like, what the fuck? So, I need to give you context. Half of my family is Spanish heritage, right? Mm-hmm. And through like marriage and stuff. So, my cousins, my aunt. That's Tijuana? And, huh? <laughs> no. Just Yo, listen. Okay. Yo. So, <laughs> he keep doing you my abuelita, that bus. <laughs> my abuela. Grandmother, That's, she passed oh, now. Oh shit! Yeah. Now we need a translator. No, listen for real. And so she was like extremely <laughs> special, mm-hmm. like what do you mean extremely. Special? She could do things and knew things. Do like things she like would what? be like, say if you meet yeah, somebody, you she'll me be about, like, yeah. yeah, she'll be like, bring them to me, bring mm-hmm. them to bring them over to the house. God, that would be the worst. And like you'll come. <laughs> what are you talking like, about? You grew up with a gr- <laughs> uncle Papi, that did that. Your hand like this, and, and she'll be like, uh, uh-uh, uh, get them out of my house. No mm. Or she'll be like, oh, so tell me about this thing. And she'll start telling you stuff about yourself. And you'll be like, yeah. You know, like 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 that. She was p- very powerful. Mm. So I remember one day when I was like, I had to be like, I was young, really young. And I remember walking with her and I'm holding her hand and she was beautiful. She had like this thick, thick hair and it was mm. like down almost to her butt. She used mm. to, and it was thick and it was all gray. And she used to keep it in this thick braid back down her butt, right? Mm. And we're walking and she's talking to me in Spanish and I was too young to know Spanish and I'm hearing her in English mm. and she's fluently talking to me and she's telling me stuff like you're the special one in the family. You're the one mm-hmm. you're going to know things. You're going to see things, protect yourself, be careful with your spirit, like stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I don't remember everything, but I remember that was the gist of it. Like she's like, I need to have this conversation with you, you know, mm-hmm. like just come to me if you have any questions, whatever. So I'm not thinking anything. So like it must have been like maybe like years, like two, three years. Mm-hmm. Weird stuff started started happening. <laughs> like, like he like like what no, like listen. So you know, they say this in the Bible too. When you have gifts, you're not supposed to that's why I say everything for everybody. You're not supposed to like just run and yeah, tell yeah. certain yeah. things. But like I would know things about people. I would know when things were gonna happen. Like we'd be sitting here and I'll be like, Your mom's about to call you and you'd be like, What are you talking about? She's not and then mom start calling yeah. like i was that good yeah. it would be stuff like that so like one time where i used to live in virginia beach for a second right did mm-hmm. i step on your sneaker no okay i thought i did and uh my cousin no she like broke her arm mm-hmm. and i'm sitting there in a the thing and i'm like oh man i'm like ma vicky just broke her arm so she's like what are you oh talking about God. she's like what are you talking about i was like she's about to call you right now so my mom's like don't start that sandra so i don't know what she's and then phone rings I, you hear my cousin oh, I just broke my like stuff like that so oh, wow. mm. i didn't know any better so i would start running to people i'm running to people but this is where it gets freaky right so i'm running to people and i'm telling them guess what i can do <laughs> like yeah because i'm young yeah. so i'm like guess yeah. what i can do you want me to show you <laughs> and, and i didn't know that not a lot of people you know people are scared of things that they cannot oh, yeah explain. that they can't achieve you know what i'm themselves. saying yeah. so i would see the moment because at first it's like oh okay i must be lucky and i would do this to adults oh okay she got and then it went from to People get scared of you. Little yeah, girl. and they looking at me like, what's and, the... and you're thinking, I can help you. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, thinking, Get yeah, because I'm low. like a sweet girl. I'm like, listen, I'm Get I'm trying to look out. Yeah. Like, away and then me. I didn't like when people would be like, oh, nah, you don't know what you're talking about. I'd be like, oh, I don't. You want me to show you? You know. So then I would start telling things that like mm-hmm. I should not know. I didn't know these people. You basically, did it like how your grandmother did it. Then you start like, telling people about themselves. Kind of, but like, cause. So here's the thing, like if I drink, cause I don't, I'm not really a drinker. I, you know, I don't smoke. Mm-hmm. I can do it again. Cause I think I'm uninhibited. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. like, I don't have the, I think I normally block maybe, uh-huh. but when I drink, mm-hmm. Rob knows mm-hmm. I can like, I will start telling you things about yourself. Tell you all kinds of will, And I'll start knowing, th- I'll just know things mm-hmm. like, and you'll be sitting there like, what? Like I could tell you. Pr- I'm telling you, I, can I tell feel you sorry for your man. So, bro, she did it. She so, did it to a bunch of homies. You be, that, look, you be listen, over there like you be Rob over there like this. Me. Y'all just eating a good meal. Rob mm-hmm. has seen me in action. That shit you thinking? It's for real. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> just don't even do don't it. Even try. It's for real. She ain't worth it. Like I just know things, right? <laughs> Sitting at L House, drinking it, chilling. Hi, yeah. You and then she that? just she just goes in. It's when I was like, no, no, but no, 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 no. Like with people, like or I'm like, hey, you okay? What's what's bothering you? You upset about your man? You upset? And like, you got a two story house, right? And upstairs, like, you got like something under the. And they be like, what the? Like, stuff like that. So, this was <laughs> the thing that kind of bugged me out one day. Two, mm-hmm. So, two things happened. And these are like different time frames. But like, I was younger 
And I remember this is when I it was strong. And mm-hmm. I was just, I was on one for real. I didn't know how to block. I didn't know what it was, right? Yeah. And I have this, I had this dream about like this girl, some little girl. Mm-hmm. So I wake up, I'm like, oh, it was cool. Yo, like a couple days later, like I'm getting goosebumps. I go, I'm somewhere. Yo, this girl runs up to me. She's like, did you dream about me too? Because I dreamt about you. Oh, shit. Yeah, that'll bug you up. Make it your ass away from me, little girl. <laughs> I need you to go ahead. Yo, I know I need you to go ahead. Listen, I couldn't even speak because I'm like, so, you know, I'm like, where do I know this? I know this girl from mm. somewhere. And I'm just, and I'm young. I'm, I think we're on like a playground. I'm like swinging something. I don't, it's fuzzy. Yeah. I just remember thinking like, I know her. And she was so young, so neither one of us is, we're not realizing how odd this is yet. Yeah. We're just like, oh, we're friends. We know each other. Right, and right. she's like, and came running up to me like, ah, and I'm like, ah. And she's like, did you dream of me too? Mm. I had a dream about you. And I'm like, this is the girl from my dream. That's crazy because I have a song I wrote years ago. About that? Well, no, not not about that, mm-hmm. but similar to where the storyline basically throughout the song is it's like a love song mm-hmm. and it's about two people who see each other in a coffee shop or mm-hmm. whatever and uh later on they come back again and the song he's singing to her you know I, he's telling her the whole song he's telling her how he dreamed of her mm-hmm. and then by at the, by the end it switches over and she's telling him well this is how the song is continuing because you know a chorus is repetitive mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but then you realize in the end the chorus has is switch angles from who's talking mm. and she's telling him i dreamed of you too oh yeah that's and great. that's what brought them together that's is dope. they dreamed of each other you know that's what dope. i mean you know they say with deja vu mm. what that is is that look like you guys were talking about alternate realities mm. and stuff like yeah. that, that you really did meet that person mm-hmm. and that when you so there's this book i gotta just say this called celestine prophecies if you guys have not uh, read it yeah, no, you so have I got haven't. to read it will tell you so much about yourself it's dope it, okay it's, it's, it's and it's a, written a like a novel read. Yeah, it's a strange read. It, it messes listen. with your head a little bit. I'm not nah, even it's dope. To. Yo, it's listen, dope, it will it, even it tell you why you were birthed to the parents you were birthed to. Damn. Why you have certain mannerisms. And like, like say if wow. you have a mom that's super like, like my mom is very strong, strong mm. woman, right? And like, you know, like say if one person's meek, one person's strong, and then you're like a mixture. Like it'll, it'll break it down so much that you'll be looking at your parents like, oh, I get it. Like it's just dope, but... In the book, it pretty much says this thing like C- never C- allow the Celestine, the Celestine prophecies. prophecies. I think it's like three or four books. And in real life, it's something around there's, there's some type of mystery around the dude that wrote it. They didn't want him putting certain things in this book. And it's like a novel. Mm-hmm. So he writes it as if it couldn't can't be real, but mm-hmm. it's real shit. Right. And that either he went on the run or something because they like they the government, CIA, whatever, somebody like mm-hmm. don't let this book get out. Mm. And he let it get out. It's pa- like I'm gonna reread it. It's powerful, but it says in there when you have deja vu. Like, say you meet somebody, you're like, "Yo, I feel like that you're not supposed to let them go because they have something to impart upon you, or mm-hmm. you have something to impart upon them." Mm-hmm. Like, there's a reason why you're like, "That's just not happenstance." When you're no, like, I, be- I, be- "I believe in that." I've had dreams before. Like, I've talked to him about it where I'll see a piece of a scenario. Like, I might just see a square of like this mm-hmm. mic and your hands in it, right? And then it happens in the dream. Right? And then be like a year later and we'll be talking like we are right now and my eyes will scan and it'll just line up just right and I'll be like, I've seen this. Yeah. Where have I seen this? So and it's a dream, I've right? Always, you, always, you know me. I've always had <laughs> and it's a dream, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 no, listen. But, but, but look, real that quick, we have, to, we have to wrap what? up. But look, I, really? I've had a real, t- real, real quick, I had a oh, dream shit. one time that was so real <laughs> uh-huh. and that's why I believe, you know, it was like, I, I believe in that dream, I was somewhere else in some actual reality, but I had this whole, like I met this woman and we fell in love. Mm-hmm. She was beautiful. And it was really weird, because where we were, it I was like, it was like yeah, dusty, you know what I mean? Like out in the desert on Route 66 out mm-hmm. west or something, right? In a little no man's land town. But me and her fell so in love, and for whatever reason, she had to leave. And I'll never forget it, it was a Greyhound bus pulled up and she stepped up on that step. And I went and I kissed her goodbye. I don't even remember why she was leaving. Do I, I think you told me this. Before. And I kissed her and I literally, after I kissed her and stepped back from her, I woke up and I woke. I was pouring tears when I woke up. Probably oh, wow. really. And I was heartbroken. Oh my like I could feel it. Like yeah. it took me like a month to get up. And I was oh like, what is wrong with me? That was a dream. Why does it feel so why is it you know what I mean? Probably were lovers and another thing. Yeah, and it was just like I was heartbroken for like a month and I never forget I was so weirded out because that never happened to me. I woke up pouring tears. Yeah. And I was heartbroken. I missed her. 
You know what I mean? I don't even know, I don't even know who she is or yeah. who she was. I remember you exactly remember she what like? she looked like. She had like a little sort cut. You know what I mean? Like maybe she was Italian or something like that. Aww. Very beautiful. And it was just a feeling where her was just nothing I'd ever felt. Oh, and I was just heartbroken when I woke up. Like for real, for real. And I was like, what? In the hell is wrong with me? That's interesting. You know what I mean? But we are running out of tape, man. Boy. You know what I'm saying? Dang, I love talking about, talk about this like all this day. Topic. I know, right? <laughs> this topic oh, got good. That's yeah, what I tell you. I love the way up, I love the way TP thinks, man. You yeah, know, we, man. we switched over topics a little bit, but otherworldly UFOs, yeah, out of along space, the same all of that. in the same bucket. All of, all of the we same bucket. Yeah, for yeah, sure, this man. This was good. For sure, yeah. man. But yeah, I appreciate all you guys' stories, man. Like, yeah, man. That's some. That's some. That's some. Uh, what's what's the word? Uh, 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 I'm learning from you guys. I'm learning from you guys. I'm, I love hearing stories like this. Yeah, helps you to feel like. I'm not nuts. I'm not right. alone. I'm not here. alone. You know I'm what sure I mean? There's a lot of people that's happy. And anybody listening and watching, you know, somebody's going to be out there. Oh, like, my God. The comments are going to be, I <laughs> want. <laughs> right, right. I know that Tell blue motherfucker. Me. I know. <laughs> and I know his number. <laughs> yeah. That fool is here right now. <laughs> that's Uncle Rufus. <laughs> and Sam, right? Y'all got to get those books. <laughs> For that sure. Yeah, probably, definitely. Yeah. Definitely was, send, text good, me that so I can remember. It was a good read, bro. It was the Celestine Prophecies. I got to check that out. I got to read it again because it even helped me understand, like, okay. And it says something like you come back to yourself. Like mm-hmm. this is like the whole purpose yeah. of life is to like, you know, know why you're on. Oh, Earth. yeah. And if you're going to get on that, it's you got to read the book of Enoch. The book. I'm already I've already been in that. Oh, man. I haven't yeah, read all of it, but it's oh, some mind blowing shit. Oh, that's my favorite. Oh, you mentioned it. that before. I definitely got to check that Bruh. out. Yeah, that's, oh my that's God. changes everything you know, bro. Does it really? About the one. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, I'm, he I'm, messes I'm with you at like. What you perceive is it a as, good read? Oh my God, it's it's downright scary because of when it was written, and all the stuff it went through to get to Ethiopia and from Ethiopia uh, from um, Jerusalem. It's crazy. It's all like right, it's like all the it. stuff in the Bible is like like oh, we're gonna take that out, yeah, omit that. It mm. literally <laughs> Constantine <laughs> literally went, yeah, don't put that in there. Why? Because yeah, no, yeah, people can't know <laughs> about right, this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Yeah, it's deep. It's deep. But I'm gonna get it. I love talking with y'all, man. I could do this all day, all TP. Day. All day. You know what I mean? We're about to get started again. We could do this all day. I know we, we <laughs> cut on up again, Boy. man. But, you know, unfortunately, unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. Indubitably. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, everyone out there listening, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this little session of cutting up. Uh, I hope it was enlightening. You know what I'm saying? I hope you enjoyed our stories, and I hope you could relate to them. And you're if not you crazy, have, yeah, that's what I was yeah. just about to say. Yeah. If you've experienced some of these things, you are not crazy. You are right. not, not the only crazy. ones. Absolutely not. And well, it you are not all of y'all are crazy. Some people might as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's okay to be a little crazy. It's okay to be a little crazy. You know what I mean? A little bit. So you know, uh, we're gonna sign off, and you know, and we're gonna go back to our normal dizzle, okay. and get over here to all S dot. S dot Lee is gonna take us out. Do you With know a little what bit that of, <laughs> It's not Lee. Well, I thank you for passing it on over to me. Um, <laughs> no oh, thank you very much, Larry, with your bike. So, <laughs> with your big bike. With your big bike. Big your bike. big, wide bike. No <laughs> <Rhodesian> <laughs> <ring> bike. <laughs> I, <was weird. laughs> I let a head shake that way with it. <laughs> you got to do the head shake. <laughs> yeah. Nestle Smacks. Uh, y'all can't see. If y'all can see how Dom's y'all head gotta is look moving at when he's saying this. Y'all got to go back and watch this. It is hilarious. But <laughs> <laughs> I just want to remind everybody, continue remind to everybody. walk in your truth. Um, just know that where you are right now is exactly where you are supposed to be in this exact moment in time. You are where you are supposed to be. And there's something that somebody told me one time, and I will take this with me forever. When you get to the top, you're already there. There's nowhere else to go. Enjoy your climb. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the climb. This is the moments. These moments matter. These are the moments that will build you. Enjoy the climb and know that you're where you're supposed to be. Keep grinding. Do your thing. Love y'all. And don't look bike. (laughs) Don't look bike. (laughs) (laughs) Cutting up. Holla at you. See you next week.